Hi, this is Matt Reisinger at Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. Behind me here is an ultra modern house my company's building. This has been a really fun project. We're working with uh, Michael Shu, Office of Architecture, and Micah, the project architect, has done a really neat job of some details that frankly I haven't done before. If you look behind me, this house has uh, some western windows and doors that go nearly up to the roof line. Look at that one up there. The, the steel beam that comes across uh, basically is about eight inches deep or so and that window comes right up to the steel beam that's up there it's gonna be a really interesting house and the only way that was really able to be pulled off was because we used a special type of truss that I want to show you on the inside uh, called red built trusses it's a steel and wood hybrid truss that I've not used before if you watch my videos you've seen that we use in Texas here a lot of wood trusses two by four wood trusses which I much prefer over an eye joist or of course over a traditional uh, solid two by member like a two by 12 floor joist that was used in my grandfather's generation let's go inside and I'm going to show you a few things about these red built trusses that I think really make them special all right, so we're inside the house now, and of course we're on a slab on grade construction here. You can see this, this reinforced concrete slab that's underneath me here uh, sits basically on bedrock, and that's the reason why uh, most houses in the south are on uh, slab on grade is because we have a ton of rock, but also because we don't have the frost line issues like you do if you're in the north. So that means there's no basements here for us to run mechanicals, and so that in-between floor space and attic space is typically where trusses are running. So now let's take a look at those red built trusses I mentioned. These trusses you can see here are 30 inches deep so this gives us a gigantic truss space and look at that big uh, duct line that's running through there. That's a metal trunk line. It's probably a 12 or 14 inch uh, diameter uh, metal line that's insulated on the outside. It's got a ton of space to run through those webs. You can see that web is made from tube steel and then the top and bottom cords are actually a two by four material so we can nail our drywall traditionally on there makes for a real easy installation and it's, it's fairly normal when it comes to the rest of the trades a um, couple big advantages though now that they're metal and they're tube steel of course they're very light much lighter even than a two by four truss and they're going to be dead flat and then the last benefit on this very modern house is we can top hang all these trusses so if you look at those windows behind me or i'm going to actually go, go show you upstairs where that steel beam was running it enables us to have a very uh, high profile for our window headers and so our windows can basically go all the way up to the drywall ceiling which is a detail a lot of architects like to use and utilizing these trusses is one way to do that let's go let's go upstairs and I'll show you that dramatic uh, picture from the outside all right, so we're upstairs now, and look at this dramatic western window right here behind me that's running all the way up to that wide flange I-beam. Remember, that's about a 10-inch, 8-inch wide, or tall, rather, beam, and it enabled us to actually use butt glazing on this corner. What a dramatic view from both the outside and the inside. And that was really able to be accomplished because we use these top hang trusses. And then as you scroll around and see this, uh, this ceiling in here, boy, you can see how well we were able to put the mechanicals up into that ceiling. And what a big difference that makes in a house like this where, again, we don't have a basement space. So we're really relying on that truss depth. We're going to be using spray foam insulation all the way up to the roof line on this house. So all the ductwork, everything you see in this, in this ceiling above me, I think this is about a 24-inch space uh, or 24-inch depth on these trusses those will all be within the air conditioned space of the house i really like these red belt trusses this thanks for joining me everybody we'll see you next time